Hi, I'm the Honey Bee Picker. I'm a full-time reseller, and this is gonna be a little bit about my sourcing from this weekend and see what I found. I have not looked up everything. A few items, I went ahead um, at the sale. I got a little bit of comps just to get some confidence in whether I wanted to pick up the item, how much negotiating I wanted to do, and um, and went from there. Other things, I just took it because it was super cheap and I would sort it out once I got home. So let me show you what I got. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and piece this back together. All right. All right, so I went to quite a few yard sales this weekend and an estate sale. I think just one estate sale, maybe two. I get my weekends mixed up, but so this was from this weekend, uh, Mother's Day weekend. I went on Friday for a few things here locally and then Saturday all over the place. Um, but I did pick up some gloves for myself brand new 50 cents half price half price of 50 cents i mean you can't beat that so that's for me then i haven't looked this up but this um, deviled egg plate there's two of the brown strawberry vintage plate as replacements um, i got those for a quarter a piece um, this I got at a church rummage sale and they kind of made me a deal on everything so at the church sale I spent $25 total I don't have the crocheted blankets out here I have them in the wash and the dryer but I picked up I think four of those for five dollars and we'll see how they turn out um, those two there's two runners um, and I paid a dollar. I paid uh, 50 cents a cup for these Christmas cups. The box is just propping them up. There's nothing in the box. Uh, and then I got this glass, single bed vase. That was pretty cool. Needs a little bit of cleaning up. And so I paid $2 for this. It's a little more than I wanted to pay. It's pretty heavy. Um, but I wanted to get that and see how that does. And I got three boxes of books um, for $10 at a yard sale. And in one of the boxes, all of these books are all one author, Lori Foster. I haven't looked them up at all, but I can always group them up. And here I think we have three authors yeah and this batch two books two books two books of three different authors i have no idea there's just a bunch of different ones here some of this if it's not worth listing then i'll just recycle them into my own yard sale um, i plan to have two this year one in the summer and one in the fall so the first one will probably be in the next 30 days i'm thinking to coordinate with the family and then these brand new sealed boxes of Legos. I paid $7 for each box. They vary in um, the regular sticker. I think the sticker price is on them when they first bought them, but they've never been opened. And I got these four Victoria's Secret perfumes. They have varying values. They wanted $20 a box. And then I asked her for a better deal. That's a whole story in itself. So uh, later on, I will tell about what happened at that yard sale. Um, yes, a little bit of drama. And I don't like drama. It makes me nervous. But um, so anyway, I will tell about that. And then so one of these is worth um, more and the others, you know, a little bit less than the top one but um when she then she said so 20 piece would have been 80 right and then she said well i'll do 60 and i hesitated and then i asked her i said well you take 55 for all four of them so it comes out to 13.75 for each i kind of paid up i prefer that i can list something for seven to ten times what i paid for it but 
at the same time, my goal is to make $20 profit per listing. So I will definitely beat that $20 profit for each of these. So that meets that um, goal or target. And these were kind of cool. It's a little zip bag. There's two of them. And uh, I'm not good with what these are, but I recognize the, the artwork and Dragon Ball Z. I think it's, yeah. So there's two of those. And so at that yard sale, I got six pieces of items. So those two, this item here, and a couple of others. Um, so $4 for six pieces. And he wanted a dollar for each piece. This is kind of interesting. It doesn't look interesting all rolled up, but it is. You can see this. See the six, I'm sorry, five posters. And they're all rolled up. And it's Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z or just Dragon Ball something. Um, 60 by 32 prints so that was a good deal and the church sorry about that and the church rummage sale I got all of these uh, my little pony and whatnot little toys so I got all those toys and the brass bell and I think well and I think that deviled egg milk glass looking plate for two dollars um, in, in that bag worth of things. And then here's some more of the books that I got in the $10 total out of three boxes. And so this back corner is all cookbook related. Um, I know there's not a lot of money in here, but some of them will sell and I'll group them together. Like there's a few children's cookbooks and I'll lot those together. There's like some church cookbooks and I'll put those together. And then uh, these books are kind of like a middle school. Um, most of those are like middle school style books. Some of them actually say middle school, but that age group. And um, there's three of the Chelsea Clinton books. I haven't looked them up, I don't, I don't know. These empty CD holders, I paid uh, 50 cents for a whole bag of them because I have a bunch of extra movies with no case to put them in. We have, I have a whole book, like a binder of Barney and all kinds of stuff. But um, So I want to be able to put those back together. They have the, um, the cover to, to the CD, but that's not in a case. So I can put the cover in the case and just notate it's not the original plastic cover, but it is the original insert um, with the with the movie. And at the church rummage sale, um, I got this whole box of cards, summer baseball, basketball, football, and they were originally wanting $50 for the box, said the gentleman who donated it was a collector, and, um, then anyway the ultimately I ended up paying $15 for the box of cards and my husband will help look to see what we can pull out of there to sell and I got this probably for myself that was the yard store I got six pieces for four dollars and it's a new roll of laminate um, that is supposed to look like uh, where's the sample? It's on here somewhere. Here it is. Kind of like a washed, whitewashed type board with the aqua and so forth. And I could probably make me a board for some of my photos. And we'll see. See on that. Or maybe I'll look it up and sell it. I don't know. Um, and then this I got at a different yard sale. I can tell that it's been sharpened quite a few times um, on the blade, but um, it is kind of unique. I didn't look it up. I didn't pay $5 for it, um, but it is from Finland, and 
there is the, the thing on that and I really don't know much about this knife. I would take it out right now, but one-handed, it is super sharp, very filet, like for fishing. So I don't wanna take it out one-handed. That would be, you know, once you see enough videos and hear my stories, you know I'm a klutz, so I'm not gonna take that out right now. And then at the estate sale, I got these cute little choir angels, little choir children. Not really angels, but they look angel-like to me. They're so cute. So I got those three for $2. And at that same um, estate sale, I bought this two-in-one. It's a cake platter or flip it over, and it's a chip and dip with the base and the little spoons. And then here in Duncanville, where I live, I went to um, a nice little cell that you know you had to go through a little tight alley to get to it, but she had 50% off and she had this Wagnerware kettle with the lid and I will have to do some research to see if that even went with it or it just fits it, um, but it is a Wagnerware and she wanted $5 so I paid $2.50 for that and this I paid $0.50 cents um, for that that's great I haven't looked these up there's some type of I think they're a candle snuffer and there's a set of two so I don't know if what they're worth yet and she had some other lids and they were 50 cents so half price I was like I'll just take them and figure out which lids I could sell and which ones I'll just put back in a yard sale or donate and and that was good for her and good for me oh the church sale i also picked up these crochet um little vintage crochet magazines and so that's popular and by themselves probably not worth that much unless i had like 20 of them but i picked up at a different yard sale on friday i picked up these sewing slash crochet boxes so I could put just a little bit of something with them, a couple of those books with each of these. And she had $5 on each, but I bought all three of them uh, for $5. So I just struck up a conversation and we talked about the school district and our kids and which my kids are grown, her kids are grown. And she was like, you know what, I'll just, you can have them all for $5. So if they sell, great. If they don't, I know I can get five bucks back out of them um, or more <laughs> um, in another sale. So we'll try that out. Oh, the sixth item of that one sale that I bought six things for $4 was this, um, what does it say? Baltimore Ravens. Um, like a tapestry piece like to hang on your wall and I think oh and I have another box on the porch that was from this same cell with a couple more um, little pans and lids or whatever whatnot like that so I think that's okay so that was my haul this weekend these books I got on the side of the road um, you know a curbside box of books just sitting out and so I didn't pay anything for those I haven't looked them up yet so I think my best finds of course were the logo Legos and the Victoria's Secret uh, perfumes and the cards and the kettle and um, or Dutch oven when they're cast iron and they have their hand on I like to call them kettle they use them for camping um, etc they really do make great popcorn i'll tell you that oh and here these are some eight tracks and individually maybe not so much i haven't looked them up yet but uh let's see there's three four five six seven eight nine ten so i paid eight dollars for this set so we'll see about that and those three books down there are really really old books that top green one, 
I don't know the value. I need to get a bid on getting it rebound because a recent print of that book, um, like from the 1980s, is $90. And that's the original book, um, I think from 1910 or 1901 or something like that. But it's a very, very interesting book. And it's about um, a whole bunch of um, a variety of black women who made a difference in their communities and in their families and are probably some of them are not well known because their stories haven't been told other than maybe this book so very interesting and there's an interesting story behind the owner of that book and she um, was a very accomplished woman for her time and so I, I'm excited about that book to see what we can can do with it. So I've reached out to um, one of the universities about the woman who owned this book. So we'll see if they get back to me. Very good. All right, that was my haul from the weekend, Friday and Saturday. I promised I would give you more insight into where and how I find my things. And there are no thrift stores in this batch this time, but I found some good stuff. I probably have some stuff that is low dollar um, and may not move very quickly, but we'll determine that and figure out what to list sooner than later and how to handle the rest of it. But I appreciate you coming by. Smash that like button, hit the subscribe, and um, click that bell so you'll know the next time I post. See you next time. Thanks.